Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm going to be doing something that is a little bit overdue, and that is testing the water quality at my house before the spring well water filtration system and after. We want to get a baseline of what the water quality was like, because honestly, me telling you it tasted like chlorine and it just wasn't the same uh, like I had in my other house with a filter doesn't really count. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this Verify uh, water, fil water, water quality tester. All right, I already ran the test for bacteria after I, t after I installed the filter, all right? It came out completely clean. So we're not gonna run that test today. We're just gonna use the test strips, okay? So right now, I've turned off the water. I already drained the lines. I put the tank in bypass. So all the water is going past the water filtration tank. So what we're gonna do now is pour a little bit of water in the test tube. We're gonna test the water quality. I'll show you that on camera. And then we're gonna turn the filtration system back on. We're not gonna bypass it. We're gonna use it and see if there's any difference, all right? Let's get started. All right, now if you can't tell where I have this camera set up, it's right above the faucet. It just gives me an easier place to work. So what we're gonna do is this comes with a test tube, a little, little thing, a little beaker to fill up. So we're gonna fill this up. I'm just gonna set it in here so it doesn't tip over. All right, get yourself something to hold that. All right, and then you're gonna get out a test strip, which I'm going to do for you. We're gonna dip this in the test and the water, and then we're going to hold this out here and do a comparison, all right? And then we're gonna turn the filter back on. And we're gonna do the same thing. So remember, when you, when you dip these, we're gonna go like this against here, all right? All right, so let's take a quick look. So it looks like our water hardness is pretty hard here. I could probably do a water softener, but I'm good for now. Hydrogen sulfide looks within range. Um, iron looks to be good. Copper looks okay. Lead, all right, lead is definitely not this lighter color. It's starting to go up to here. It's still acceptable, all right, but we, I'd like it lower. I'd like it lower. I don't want any lead in my water. The fact that it's acceptable to have any in there is crazy. Manganese is good. Chlorine, kind of creeping between the second and third one. Uh, you can definitely smell that in my water, all right? Mercury, we're looking pretty safe. Nitrate, nitrite, looking okay. Um, sulfate, sulfate, all right? We're crossing out of acceptable. And now we're looking at about 800 parts per million based on that color, maybe 1,200. All right, zinc, not too bad. Fluoride, all right? They definitely put fluoride in this water. Um, sodium chloride, I don't think that's the stuff that makes you talk when you're interrogated, but I don't know. That looks okay. Alkalinity, all right, doing pretty all right. We're within the acceptable ranges. So overall, what I'm seeing here is we got a little bit of lead in the water. Still acceptable, but I'm not a fan of that. And we got really hard water. Our pH is acceptable here, actually. The color kind of flipped a little. We're a little bit more there. Uh, mercury, nitrate, nitrate, sulfate. Like I said, sulfate's kind of creeping creeping a little bit higher than we want it. Uh, zinc, good. Fluoride, they put fluoride in this water and alkalinity. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna discard that. I'm gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna turn the, the filter back on. We're gonna run it through the house and we'll do our next test. Okay, I'm back. I've flushed out all the water from the system that was in there when the filtration filter was off. Turned the filter back on, ran the water, turned the water back onto the house, ran it through the system for a couple minutes, all right? So now what we have in here should be filtered water. We'll fill that up get to the top, set it there in my super neat holder. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna dip this strip. This is like a 20 strip. Don't recommend taking that before a concert. And we're gonna compare it against here, all right? So let's do the dip. Let's get it in and out pretty quick. Shake that off. All right, and let's let this get going here. Okay, let's take a look here. pH is falling into that acceptable level. Looks good, looks like it's falling kind of right into there, okay? Hardness, still about the same. I could use a water softener. Um, hydrogen sulfide, okay. Um, iron looking good, still in the acceptable ranges. Copper has dropped a little. Lead, all right, look, even though it was in the acceptable range before, right from the tap, we're moving back down into here, we're doing a lot better. 
it's starting it's matching this color a lot more okay kind of in between but yeah actually no it's more on the orange good um, manganese low perfectly acceptable total chlorine uh, we're looking good there it's got a little bit it's showing but i don't actually no it's a little more white that's actually the light here um, it's definitely not pink but it's still in the range mercury is right there nitrate nitrite good sulfate really low zinc the same fluoride still showing up sodium chloride and alkalinity all right so we got a little bit uh right at the bottom of the acceptable range of alkalinity but that big one i noticed was lead all right it looks a lot better so my assessment let me give you that in just a second all right all right so let me give you my assessment my view what i think about this so to start the water quality was not as bad here as I thought. All right, it could use a little bit of work, but honestly, everything was, was kind of within range, right? Adding the filtration system gives me that level of security, that peace of mind that I know whatever's coming out of that is top notch, right? We saw that on the test that I just ran. Good to go, everything's all right. Uh, one other thing I like about this filtration system, this is my personal belief, you might differ. I hate plastic, all right? I hate single use plastic. I hate plastic water bottles. I don't buy bottled water at all. If it's in a can, like that one brand, I'll buy that. If it's in a cardboard box, I'll buy that, man. But I don't do plastic. So the peace of mind, knowing I spent like $750 or 800 bucks on this whole system to drink fresh water all the time and fill up my reusable water bottles is far worth, the, far greater than the price of admission, all right? That peace of mind, knowing that I'm helping the environment, in addition to knowing that the Springwell water filtration system is giving me quality water, it's a no-brainer. My advice to everyone watching this, go buy this water filtration system if you're in need one for your house. Watch my video on how to install it. It's not that hard. Shoot me some comments if you have any questions. But seriously, let's all get some fresh water into our system, some healthy water, and let's try to reduce the amount of plastic that's going to destroy our environment in the near future, all right? Those are my views. I am not endorsed by Springwell Water Filtration System. I'm just a regular guy trying to help everyone else out there. And one more thing, man, if this video helped, make sure you're subscribing, make sure you're turning on notifications. I was in a bit of a slump, not putting out many videos, but I'm back, all right? Thanks for watching. Take care of each other out there. Be kind. Peace.